today's video, we are going to find out just how much paint is actually in a spray paint can, mix some colors together, and then try boiling it. We have a little bit of leftover spray paint from a couple of projects. Just a few, just, just a little. We might have an addiction to spray paint. I've always been curious to see a few things about spray paint. For one, how much paint do you actually get out of one of these cans? I also want to see what spray paint looks like when it's just sitting in a pot, like a gallon of it. Most people know that you could spray spray paint into a fire and it'll, it'll burn, it'll catch. However, a lot of that is the propellant itself and not necessarily the paint. Finally, we want to see what happens if we add a little bit of heat. Does it boil? Does it just burn? We don't know and we want to. Here's the basic idea. We have got a lot of spray paint. We're going to try spraying it all into one pot and then turn on the heat. Let's see how much spray paint is in a pot. Although, one other thing, we are in a dome and it's pretty big, but we have a lot of spray paint. I think if we sprayed it all in here, we would end up high as a kite. <laughs> so, we're gonna take the pot and the spray paint outside and do the spraying there. Supposedly, there's 15 ounces in this can. We're gonna find out. Pretty color. This may take longer than we thought. They so much better. This is wonderful. You're so helpful. <laughs> I mean, the fumes aren't going on you. That's, that's fair, that's fair. It'd be kind of cold. But this is not 15 ounces worth of paint. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we've just lost a ton of it to the air. Yeah. I feel like when I'm painting things, I run out of spray paint faster than this. I know. When you're, when you're trying to paint with it, you get like three passes and you're like, crud, the can ran out. This can's never gonna end. Now, to be clear, this was a brand new can of paint. Most of these will be half used, but we wanted to see exactly how much was in a brand new can. And shockingly, it's a lot. Oh, speaking of which. Is that it? I think we're pretty much there. That's a whole can of spray paint. That's sad. That looks really cool, though. It's beautiful, but there's not much in here. That's very cold. So we were looking at the can, or not the can, we were looking at the bottom of the pot, and it's actually... It's frozen over. Yeah. This much paint depressurizing actually comes out very cold. And it's cold out here anyway, so it just sort of stays cold once it gets cold. But yeah, the bottom of the pot has frosted over, and Callie stuck her finger into the paint, and said that it's also very cold. Let's do more. More colors. That's about a gallon of spray paint right there. That's amazing. So much. With hydro dipping, you have paint on top of water. Here, we've just got paint on top of more paint. <laughs> so it's not gonna work nearly the same or probably nearly as successfully, I but... suspect this whole thing, we're gonna, we've got this clear Christmas ornament, and I suspect that the whole thing will just end up sort of a muddy Gray, brown. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a little bit of that turquoise surface stuff on it. Let's, Let's find see. out. Wait, I actually love it. It's so shiny. Guys, it's the beach. We made the beach. Neat. In the middle of the winter. So the inside of these ornaments are really pretty. The outsides are just... Mud. Purplish, sparkly mud, but mud. That looks really cool with all the paint like rushing into the globe. Not, not much. We got a few gold swirls, but the color is just, is just Kind mixed. of all mixes. Yeah. We'll be selling these? $400 as is appropriate and fair. <laughs> all right, so this is kind of gorgeous. Now that we know that- Those are some really cool swirls. That is there, beautiful, actually. but it's freezing. I want to heat it up. I want to boil it. All right, that's lit, but it's on fairly low heat. I'm hoping we can actually get to a point where we can see this bubbling. I, I think it's very likely that it will light on fire, but I do want to see if we can get like a bubbling rolling boil before that, because I think it would look interesting. There's water running down the outside of the pot 
because it got so cold. It's actually frozen. That it was frozen all the way around and now we're starting to thaw it and we've got just a few drips down here at the bottom. We sprayed in maybe three quarters of an inch of paint before we had to stop for the day and we came back and I think that paint got a lot colder. It was still liquid, but I'm guessing it didn't really mix very well and now as it's heating up, we've got some of that raising up to the top. What we stopped at yesterday was a very green mix. So it's bubbling, but there's, there's no heat radiating off of it. The side of it's cool. That is slightly cool, as I would say. How the, the bubbles are weird me out. Now my entire hand is submerged in spray paint, which is odd. <laughs> but awesome. Very thin and it's like slippery, so it kind of feels like my hand is in oil. So it's thinner than regular like house paint. Definitely thinner than house paint. And yeah, it's, it's almost soapy. It's interesting. You can see as he's, the, the, the teal is coming through. That was the teal that, uh, that we sprayed in the very beginning yesterday. Right. I am rubbing some of the paint off of the bottom of the pot. Um, and it's definitely warmer. As long as I keep my fingers moving, it's not like burning them at all or anything. I think the solvents in the paint are slightly dissolving my glove. They are. That glove's normally form-fitting. Oh, it's a very, very thin bottom steel pot, and so individual tiny little bits of paint probably are boiling. Now it's on high heat. So now we're backing up. Oh, and that is bubbling much more vigorously. That could have been potentially disastrous. That is a lot of flammable liquid. We, we decided we had <laughs> too much flammable liquid to just let that go and possibly light on fire, almost certainly light on fire. Uh, and so what we're gonna do instead is we're just gonna take it off of the burner, move the propane tank far away, and then see if we can light the surface of the paint. Because I really do think it will light on fire, but then we have to deal with it being on fire. And we have a fire extinguisher, which would probably put it out, but it also sprays out with a lot of force, and maybe that would like send burning paint flying. The, the fumes from, there's just so many things that we think we might not wanna deal with right now, especially if it's all that fire surrounding a propane tank. We're Just, still gonna light it on fire. We're gonna fire. see if we can light the surface on fire, but without the propane tank there, and then just try putting a board over to put it out, and if that doesn't work, then the fire extinguisher. Poke it with a stick. I'm gonna poke it with a stick. A flaming stick. Yeah! There we go. I don't think it likes that. No. That's gotta be the most extreme way to graffiti anything ever. <laughs> dries really fast. Oh, well, that's a lot of boiled paint. <laughs> well, I think we should take this paint just set it somewhere. Just leave it? For like six months and see if it dries out. <laughs> Let's do it. Stay tuned for six months and maybe we'll show you the dried out paint. <laughs> That's not gonna be in this video because we're not waiting six months.
Guys, that's it for today. Come back in maybe six months and we'll show you what's happened to this pot of spray paint. As for now, you know we've always got more for you to see. That box at the top is going to take you to our last video. You should go check that out. The other box is going to show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. And if you aren't subscribed to our channel, hit this bomb to join the club. That way you'll never miss out on a cool video. Don't forget to ring that bell and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.